Hello, I'm Mark Schildhausen. Because things on the internet seem to lose their date reference, it's pretty easy. Today is Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. On Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024, uh, we were in the last week of our uh, kind of long vacation, and we were scheduled to see dinosaurs. And somewhere along the line, we discovered Colorado National Monument, National Park, and we decided we'd seen enough dinosaurs. Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, fantastic uh, natural history museum, and uh, the tracks in St. George, Utah, uh, fantastic. So uh, we'd seen dinosaurs a few other places. So we decided let's do the national park, and we cruised over to the uh, Colorado National Monument, National Park, and. Uh, this is the video. We spent probably two and a half, three hours there. Uh, you enter either from the east side and drive over to the west side or the west side, drive over to the east side. Well, it's, it's kind of a big C drive uh, road and uh, Work Progress of America, uh, Work Progress Administration, WPA, and Civilian Conservation Corps during uh, the Depression is responsible for a significant amount of the development of the park, like they are with a lot of the national parks. And they did a phenomenal job and their work is holding up really, really well. So this is the video, and I'm not going to narrate a whole lot of it, I'm going to start it out with the, uh, with the uh, videos that we took. And uh, this place was absolutely awesome. We absolutely loved it. And I, I talk about it at the end of the video. Um, one of the fun things was we started looking at the rocks and imagining what they were. Uh, so there's an Egyptian sarcophagus there, a mummy. Uh, there's a set of legs. Uh, we found the conning tower for a submarine. We found a uh, ship's mast. Uh, we found um, car hoods. We found automobiles. Uh, we, we found a lot of things. We were just having fun seeing patterns in the rocks. And this is sandstone, so it's really uh, susceptible to erosion by wind and wind and water, and it is an absolutely beautiful park. It's a hidden park. Highly recommend it if you're in the area. I-70 near Grand Junction. You had three hours to your trip and stop stop by. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, take a look at the video. We we really enjoyed this one. Thanks. Bye. We are in the Colorado National Monument Park on our kind of extended vacation, October 2nd, 2024, and I'm, the, the first two things here, when you check into the park, they give you a map of the park, and the park is really nicely set up, it's kind of like a C, you enter at uh, the east end, you exit at the west end, and uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, to uh, Fruta, I believe it's pronounced uh, Colorado, and we did it in probably uh, three hours, two and a half to three hours. The park wasn't real crowded at the time, and I'm just gonna let this uh, run into the uh, videos that we took. This is an absolutely beautiful and pretty well hidden uh, national park. And we didn't know about it until by accident we discovered it was there. We were going to do dinosaurs in Grand Junction, and uh, we changed that because of the dinosaurs we'd already seen in places like Salt Lake City, Utah. So I'm just going to let this go into the uh, videos, and then I'll give you some still shots as we go. Thanks for watching. This is millions of years of formation. This is, yeah, this is why we came over here. We were looking at something online that said this is a fantastic museum, uh, park to visit. And I think I would agree. Yeah, right. Is that majestic? Yeah, it's pretty cool. A bunch of cars down there. Yeah, a bunch of big family, right? Yeah. Look at this 
stratification in that rock. we saw. <laughs> this is the smallest tunnel we've been in on this entire trip. I'm just glad there's no big horn sheep sitting in it. Every one of those color changes is a different water level. Okay, we're on video because there's a mummy. We're at Upper Butte Canyon View, I believe. Upper Butte. Upper Butte, and there's a mummy, and there's legs. And I'm gonna pan down here. And here's a tree growing, and its roots are response are going to be breaking a, another section of the rock off maybe thousands of years and, a, and five different trees before it happens, but it'll break them off. We're kind of standing open. The rails are behind us. Uh, not that they aren't in this area. When I say behind us, the rails are over here. And this is a walking path to get down here. And there's Joyce and coming back to the mummy kind of cool uh this our choice was this or dinosaurs i think we made the right choice Okay, so we're at uh, Monument Canyon, and I walked all the way down to there, about 100 yards, so I could get a shot of what I'm getting a shot of right now. But it's pretty cool. Well, aren't you proud of yourself? Yeah, and I'm proud of myself. And I didn't even fall. Uh, we're up in the six to 7,000 foot range, yes, right, and it's kind of cool. We're having fun here. Colorado National Monument National Park. Interesting cutout on the road. All right, we got another tunnel. Pedestrians prohibited, but bikers can come through. Other tunnels, keep running. Yeah, pretty. CCA and WPA, CCC and WPA did beautiful work because the guys had pride in what they did. Even at a dollar a 
day plus room and board. Here's another big truck. The signage, sign postings, uh, such as as they are, and you're going to see some of them as we work through this video. I'm not going to narrate every slide. Uh, it was really cool, really, really informative. Uh, it's Wingate Sandstone. Uh, that is the most prevalent rock material that is in the park. And as sandstone, it is uh, really susceptible to water and wind erosion. And that's what creates this fantastic topography, this, this beauty of this uh, facility. Uh, there's a number of other rock types uh, sit in here as well, so it's not consistent. And that inconsistency is what gives it its beauty. As I said, I'm not going to narrate every uh, slide that comes through here. I'll, I'll try to point out some of the really cool things we saw. And the uh, as we open this, um, this park chat just had me in absolute awe. And one of the things that amazes me in the current political environment, I'm going to get minorly political, sorry about that, is that one time a politician was smart enough to protect this and spend money on it, which I think is like really cool. As these slides pass by, uh, you saw Joyce pointing to the ridge lines how eros how cr how much erosion can affect this and how it can affect it. And you see it in some of these slides in these massive erosion uh, carvings on the side of the walls. But then where Joyce's hand was a couple a minute ago, uh, you saw how fine it can also be. Uh, it was. It's amazing how Mother Nature works and how it colors these. Uh, where is the white slabs and the black slabs coming up from? Uh, as various minerals come out of of the uh, of the sandstone, out of the trees, out of uh, uh, get blown into the area and whatever else, uh, they they dye the rock. They color the rock, and the ro the rock coloring may not be consistent over time. The the way the trees, uh, the roots, uh, carve into the sandstone, then the water follows it. Uh, as the temperature changes, uh, goes into freezing, the water expands, just moves that crack just a little bit more. Uh, the roots get a little bit bigger, they hold moisture, uh, the water comes back in, everything freezes again, just moves it a little bit more. Over thousands of years, this park is going to reform itself in some very, very spectacular ways. I kind of wish we could stick around. We did shoot the uh, GPS uh, confirming that we're in the 6,000, 7,000 foot range. I think the high point of the park is somewhere around eight. Uh, don't hold me to that, but uh, this, this park was absolutely beautiful. This stairway and a number, uh, much of the park was actually built by during the depression by guys that were earning a dollar a day plus room and board and it was works process of America progress process progress of America and the Civilian Conservation Corps WPA and CCA and the workmanship because they cared is phenomenal and has lasted uh, obviously with minor maintenance along the way and some uh, reform along the way has lasted uh, since the 1930s um, 70, 80, 90 years. So this is actually beautiful and this is what people did uh, back in that in that time frame to earn a dollar a day and all we can do now is say thanks because this park is absolutely beautiful 
and you just look at it and you look at the nature of the park and what nature has done to the to the area and say holy cow um, this is phenomenal I think I have a couple of photos duped in here and sorry about that we made it to the visitor center and you're going to see some random shots as these come up uh, because of the way I categorized them sorted them whatever and it talks about how the uh, many layers of what is the Colorado National Monument area is formed and it was really informative I love learning things in geography geology um, is is a critical is is something that's really interesting and it talks about the people that were here uh, in in uh, prior to European intervention and it talks about Frank Otto who is the guy who saw this land and said we really need to save it and then as I said earlier at least one politician agreed with him so the money was spent so it was saved it is an absolutely beautiful park while we were there uh, we we met uh, uh, two guys father and son uh, that were driving a Subaru Forester similar to ours um, asked him how he liked it and he said oh great it's a rental car and I heard the accent and I said Australian he said yeah I said where at he says Perth I said I've been to Perth and uh, we were talking and then I noticed something one of them uh, the dad uh, put something in his pocket but it missed and it fell on the ground behind him as he was walking and the son said hey dad you, you dropped something and they picked it up there was almost no litter in this park I I don't I don't remember seeing anything in uh, through the vast majority of the park it was absolutely clean probably one of the shortest videos of a place we visited and especially when you consider that this place was absolutely beautiful and we we're in total awe one of the really neat things about this park is my wife and I were having fun and t going back to an age of innocence when uh, we would lay in the backyard and look up at the sky and look at the clouds and see things in the clouds and discuss that and that's what we are doing with the rocks in this park we saw the Egyptian sar sarcophagus the the mummy we saw the legs we saw battleships we saw ships um, mass and and uh, superstructures we saw cars we saw hood ornaments we saw hubcaps we saw so many things by using our imagination and looking at this and we didn't start out that way it just happened and it was an absolutely fun tour really enjoyed it hope you enjoyed watching this this uh, video thanks and and maybe we'll see you in another one